So like most US Samsung Galaxy S4 users, I've been eagerly waiting the arrival of the dual boot option in our phones. The international versions have had access to this for quite a while now, but the US versions and the Canadian versions have been excluded from this. Finally, a developer has uploaded a thread on XDA explaining to you completely and thoroughly how to do this. One issue with that is it is overly complicated for most users, for most of the average Android users or basic ROM flasher people that don't really get into coding and don't really get into worrying about everything else about the phone. Well, here's the basic version of how to do it and a few cool tips along the way. All right, so on the thread of XDA, um, they've made it very, very difficult for you. And um, here are a few tips, first of all, on going ahead and making your, your, your phone dual boot is, um, you have the option of switching through a whole bunch of ROMs. What I'm using is I'm using Echo ROM and I'm using Liquid Smooth ROM. So with Liquid Smooth ROM, the issue is it does not come with Google Apps and they have this extremely, extremely complicated way of their supposedly solution for um, trying to flash something or making a mod inside this dual boot option. So right here, let's go ahead and go from the start. Let's pretend like we have absolutely no dual boot, nothing installed. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to install your primary ROM. Uh, whatever ROM you're gonna be, but like I said, I recommend if you're gonna use an AOSP ROM, AOPK, or anything that needs Google Apps flashed afterwards, then you're gonna to wanna to pick that as your primary ROM because you, it's very, very, very difficult to flash after you've already um, set up your dual boot. So then we're, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery. Okay, so once you're in recovery, go ahead and do your standard wipe everything. So first you're gonna click on format data and cache. Go ahead and erase it. I have the touch um, sound engine mod touch recovery. So if you don't, you're gonna go ahead and use your volume keys, but should be the same thing. Format absolutely everything on it after that. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click wipe your cache and your partition. Just go ahead and get rid of your cache and your partition. That should be fairly quick, all of this. Um, on from there, you're going to have to go into advanced and then you're going to go ahead and remove your Delvic. So let's go ahead and advanced and wipe Delvic cache. Get rid of that. Also get rid of everything. So that one was really, really fast. So now we're going to go ahead and go back. We're going to pick the zip file we have to go ahead and install, which would be our ROM. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to go into wherever you have it. I just downloaded it. So I'm going to have Liquid Smooth, the official version for T-Mobile. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back. I don't know if you guys noticed. I got one that says right here, watch. Go into my SD card, go ahead and into my downloads. And I have one that says dual boot right here. You'll, I'll, I'll be able to explain that later um, in a few seconds, in a few minutes. So then go ahead and flash your normal one. Okay, so your liquid smooth ROM or whatever you're going to be using, it's fully done. So now you're going to want to go ahead and flash the, your Google Apps that it came with. So then you have Google Apps installed. Okay, so so far up to this point, you've flashed your ROM. The, what, if you're going to need to install Google Apps later, make sure you do this one first. So. You've installed that ROM already and the Google Apps so far. Just go ahead and reboot your system normally. All right, so once you got yourself set up with a, any sort of browser that you could go ahead and get into your files, you're gonna go ahead and you have to download a few files that are on the XDA thread that I'm gonna go ahead and post. Uh, the first one is gonna be your actual your dual boot switcher app. So go ahead and install dual boot switcher normally. 
open it. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to set this ROM as your primary kernel. See that right there? Primary. So then you're going to go ahead and remember this choice forever. Allow. Successfully completed. All right. And you can see I have Google Apps. You saw I downloaded this. So it all works fine. Play Store. This is the main reason why I said you're going to have to want to do this one first. After this, you're going to need to install your Dual Boot Patcher app. All right, so you got your Dual Boot Patcher app. You're going to go ahead and you're open your Dual Boot Patcher. Now, once you're in Dual Boot Patcher, you're going to have to pick the ROM you're going to go ahead and uh, Dual Boot. So you're going to pick Dual Boot here. Make sure it's picked, not anything else. They don't have Multi Boot yet, so you're going to have to go going to come down to wherever it is that you have it. So I have mine on my external SD card ROM. You're going to patch the other ROM that you're going to go ahead and you're going to download. Okay, so once that's done, you'll just go ahead, you'll click OK. And then uh, you're going to go ahead and to wherever you had that file downloaded, You'll notice that right under it, you have, or on top, however it's going to be, you have one that says dual boot added to the, to the whole phrase now. So it's now echo ROM 5 plus October 21st dual boot dot zip, not just dual boot, or not just October 21st dot zip. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to flash that. So whatever sort of thing you want to use to go ahead and flash it. So I'm going to go ahead and flash my ROM. So when, when you do this, do not wipe anything. Make sure you have it all there. Don't wipe Delvic, don't wipe anything. Just leave it set and just kind of like a dirty flash. That's what they call it. So just go ahead and do that. All right, so it's fully installed. And then you're gonna go ahead, go back and reboot the system. It's gonna go ahead and boot normally. And it's gonna boot into this ROM. It's gonna go ahead and boot into for my situation, it's echo ROM. Now that you're here in touch with, you're gonna have to go back to where you have the um, the downloaded um, dual boot app, and then you're gonna have to go ahead and install that. Okay, so now you're gonna set the kernel for this ROM as your secondary ROM and you're done. You can literally now do a boot. Watch this. Go ahead and get rid of this real quick for a second. So you're going to go ahead and here you have your touch whiz and you're going to go to your dual boot switcher app. Go ahead and click on dual boot switcher and choose the ROM you're going to boot into. So this is my secondary ROM. So right now I want to boot into my primary ROM. So you're going to select primary ROM. Okay. And now you hit reboot. Just watch this. It's gonna go ahead. It's gonna reboot. Should reboot just fine. And then, if I'm right, right away you'll see it. It's gonna be the liquid smooth boot, not the Echo ROM boot, which is another reason why I picked these because they have their own custom boot animation, so right away, you can tell if it goes good. Um, I recommend using the skinniest or slimmest version of your secondary ROM or primary ROM if you're going to use TouchWiz. Uh, your phones don't have a lot of space partitioned um, being set up already for whatever you're going to be using. So it's set up for one ROM. So installing two ROMs into your... Uh, into where it's supposed to be one ROM, you're gonna have, want to keep one really skinny. Um, like this one, Liquid Smooth, is just, it's pretty much Liquid Smooth because of the reason that it's so slim, it's completely debloated by everything. Um, it didn't even have Google Apps installed in it, so I had to manually install Google Apps later. But right now, you, as you see, it works totally fine. Tips on something I've seen, something I've myself I've messed up on so right here in your dual boot switcher app um, your primary ROM 
would be this one I'm on right now. And your secondary ROM is Echo ROM. If you click secondary ROM right now, you are screwed. You've lost access to your other ROM. Or vice versa. If you have both of these somehow set up to the same ROM, you're going to have to redo all this. You're probably going to lose the information on the other ROM. Um, Nandroid backups completely work on this. So if you make a backup and you decide to boot it, um, restore later. So let's say you didn't have dual boot in a later period and you want to dual boot back because of a mistake. You could just restore from an Android backup and you'll be fine. You will uh, regain your dual boot um, ability and that's totally fine. So make sure you don't accidentally click this. So once again, you want to switch to a ROM. Let's say I, I want to go back to my TouchWiz ROM. Just is writing the kernel. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reboot and I'll go ahead and boot up back into my TouchWiz ROM. So this is how you do it. Um, this is the easiest, best way to do it. Um, the guy who posted on XDA decided to make it pretty complicated for no reason. So it's pretty simple. So this is it. It's all set up. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I should be able to get to you pretty quick.